Hello, I'm Dr. Sanket Mehta. I'm a surgical oncologist from SSO Cancer Center and I treat cancers of the gastrointestinal tract and the peritoneum, the lining of the abdominal cavity. In this video, I'll explain a treatment called Cytoreductive Surgery and HIPEC, what it is, how it works, and when it is to be used. It's a complex procedure, but understanding the basics can help reduce fear and confusion, especially if you or someone you care about is exploring it as a treatment option. CRS stands for Cytoreductive Surgery. This means removing all visible cancer deposits from the abdominal cavity. HIPEC stands for Heated or Hyperthermic Intraperitoneal Chemotherapy, a warm chemotherapy solution circulated inside the abdominal cavity after surgery. This kills any microscopic cancer cells that may have been left behind after the surgery. It is done as one single operation, surgery first, then chemotherapy delivered directly inside the abdominal cavity, all during the same procedure. This combined approach is used for cancers that have spread within the abdomen but not the distant organs like the lungs or the brain. This treatment is used selectively for patients with colorectal cancer with peritoneal metastasis, gastric cancer with peritoneal spread, ovarian cancer in certain advanced or recurrent cases, appendix cancers, pseudomyxoma peritoni, peritoneal mesothelioma, and other selected abdominal cancers that are spread to the peritoneal cavity. A full evaluation is done to determine whether the disease is operable, if the patient is fit for a major surgery, and whether the cancer can be truly eliminated from the abdominal cavity. CRS plus HIPEC has two main parts. Cytoreductive surgery, we begin with either a staging laparoscopy to assess the disease or a direct open surgery depending on the case. In some early cases, the entire surgery may even be done laparoscopically, but this is reserved for very specific situations. The goal of cytoreductive surgery is to remove all visible disease, which may spread across various parts of the abdomen. This may involve removing the parietal peritoneum, the pelvic peritoneum, the omentum, parts of the colon, small intestine, spleen, gallbladder, stomach, or any other organ as need be. After these resections, we carefully join the remaining organs together to restore continuity so that the patient can maintain a good quality of life. The aim of the surgery is to achieve a CC0 resection, meaning no visible disease left behind, because this gives the best chance for long-term survival and even a small chance for cure. HIPEC or hyperthermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy. Once cytoreductive surgery is complete, we circulate a heated chemotherapy solution directly inside the abdominal cavity for a period of 60 to 90 minutes at a controlled temperature of 41 to 43 degrees Celsius. Why this temperature? Studies have shown that this temperature range allows for deeper penetration of the chemotherapy into the cancer cells without harming normal tissues. Normal cells can recover from heat while cancer cells which have poor repair mechanisms within the DNA suffer irreversible damage to the DNA called as apoptosis which prevents further growth. This is why HIPEC is such a powerful adjunct to surgery in these cases. CRS and HIPEC is a major operation and recovery takes time. Patients can expect 7 to 10 days in the hospital after surgery. Initial monitoring is done in an ICU or a high dependency unit. Full recovery can take up to 4 to 8 weeks at home with proper nutritional support and physiotherapy as a part of the recovery program. Regular follow-ups with scans, blood tests and assessment of physical recovery is needed. Most patients do return to good quality of life, but the recovery requires commitment and teamwork between the patient, the family and the caregiver. When used in selected patients, the benefits are improved survival, longer disease-free intervals, and in some cases, especially for appendix cancers, pseudomyxomas, and ovarian cancers, even the possibility of long-term control and cure. The risk of complications in experienced centers is between 10 to 12 percent. Internationally, in various publications, the range varies from 10 to 40 percent, depending on the center's experience. Common risks include medical complications like urinary tract infection, pneumonia, deep vein thrombosis, and pulmonary embolism. Surgical complications include bleeding and infection and anastomotic leak, that is leakage from any bowel joints. Because we know these risks, we are well prepared to manage them. And in most cases, complications can be managed successfully. This is why it's important to undergo cytoreductive surgery and HIPEC only in experienced centers where the right multi-speciality support system is available. CRS and HIPEC is not the right treatment for every patient, but in carefully selected cases, it can make a real difference, even for patients who may be told that they have no other option. If you or someone close to you is facing the diagnosis involving peritoneal spread of cancer, ask whether cytoreductive surgery and HIPEC may be an option. Understanding the procedure is the first step to making an informed decision. If you found this video helpful, feel free to like, share and subscribe so others can access this information as well. Thank you for watching. I'm Dr. Sanket Mehta from SSO Cancer Center.